Hey everyone, okay, so as the aging process ravishes our faces, the thing to think about is how to create a lifted cheek. Now, the way to do a lifted cheek, if, you, if you're over 40, put your hands or your fingers in your hair up high and pull. Chances are it's gonna look better. If that's the case, then this technique is for you. So I'm gonna use my airbrush and I'm gonna use this palette here, which is by NARS. And it's really lovely, it's the exposed palette, it's wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two shades here and I'm just gonna just swatch them. So what I wanna do is I wanna create an arc. I wanna create a beautiful arc. Actually, let's do this side, because I always do that side. We wanna create an arc here, lift it and give the illusion of it being pulled up. So in a linear motion, I'm going back and forth over the cheekbone area and then I'm swirling it so that it's not just the stripe, so that it's, it's more um, blended in. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing because these blushes are really beautiful but they're quite sheer, which I think is lovely. So back and forward in this arc and then just kind of swirl it up and almost arc it here. And this way you get this kind of lifted up cheekbone, or at least the illusion of it. Now when I do this kind of technique, people will often ask, well, where does highlighter go? Because this tends to be the area you'd apply highlighter, right? So it goes in the same place, so that there is a harmony of color. It is not this highlighter, blusher kind of effect. I want everything to be a part of each other. So I'm gonna take the highlighter shade and just kind of swirl it in the product and exact same technique, but this time I'm going slightly higher than I was, but barely, and then I'm moving it across that section. So you're getting this glorious highlight that is like a starburst effect because it, you've got the blusher coming through and the highlights are molding or melting into it, which gives it this really great look. And then you've got this blusher application that is giving the illusion of pulling things up, which is what we want. Now this technique works wonderful for almost all face shapes and face styles, apart from very, very thin faces or very bony faces because it can make, the, um, it, can make it look worse. And very thin faces or bony faces are the hardest to apply with blusher because there's no fat pads. So they are the most difficult face shape and this technique really wouldn't be best suited for that. But otherwise, this is a technique that I use on pretty much anybody and everybody with the exceptions I just said because it tends to create a more youthful look. And I'm gonna be going through some other, um, oh, itchy scalp. I'm gonna be going through some other tips and tricks um, in some upcoming videos as well. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon, bye-bye.